Perhaps I wasn't exactly fair. And judging by the comments, did a good job of pissing off the community of loyal Pi fans. Don't get me wrong. I didn't set out to be some kind of troll, gaslighter, pot stirrer. I was simply just sharing my honest opinion on a very new product. You see, my imagination oftentimes runs wild, wondering with new products, the what ifs, what could have been's, what did they miss? Are they Apple versioning us to death? Had my beloved Pi Foundation changed? Or perhaps I was just too quick on the clicker, a hip shot review that may have not been fair. Let's just say the community reacted. Most were kind folks who simply just disagreed, but kept it respectful. Others, let's just say they were less than kind of my honest opinion. I had no clue this would be viewed, let alone set forth a firestorm of dislikes and a bunch of, look at this bro, thinking he is a, well, go read the comments yourself. So today, I'm gonna dig my Pi 400 out of the bin and take a look at some of the recent upgrades the Pi Foundation has made to the OS and see how these upgrades have impacted the experience as a desktop replacement. Now, whoa, 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 let me pause right here and take notice of the words desktop replacement. As I unintentionally found out, these two words are hot buttons for the Pi community. Some take serious offense to anyone trying to use the Pi for anything other than what they think it should be used for. I, for one, do not think anyone should be confined to use the Pi in any certain way. The Pi is all about exploration, discovery, utility. I by no means think anyone should restrict anyone from using the Pi in any way they so choose. There is no right or wrong here, people. Now I stand by my view that this should have at least had a 3.5 millimeter audio jack as I really like to hardwire into my speaker. However, I quickly resolved this by purchasing a USB dongle. It's not a huge deal to, to install and it was relatively cheap on Amazon. I also bought a little USB drive to power the OS. I know it's not the fastest, but it has a write speed and a read speed faster than the card. So with that, let's go install the updates. So with a quick pseudo apt get update and upgrade, I was eagerly awaiting the results as the OS promised better video. After a few minutes, I was presented with the desktop and I dove right in. One of my biggest complaints in regards to using the Pi as a desktop replacement was that the Pi 400 did not seem to handle video that well. From my understanding, it lacked native Widevine support, which is a DRM technology used by Chromium-based browsers. Prior to this, we had to use a modified version of Chrome that, in my experience, was, well, just okay. However, we can easily get Widevine support now directly from the foundation by issuing the following command. The foundation has through this release improved video playback and now includes native Widevine support, which should mean Raspberry Pis can now have active Widevine support and can stream services like Netflix, HBO, Sling, Hulu, Disney, Amazon Prime, Showtime, DirecTV, or anything else using Widevine's OTT network. But was this true? I took the 400 through the paces, did not notice any frame drops or stuttering on Netflix, Discovery, Sling TV, or Amazon Prime. While I could not stream at 4K, 1080 worked like a charm. I loved how it didn't drop any frames on YouTube or any of the other streaming services I use daily. I must say kudos to the foundation and all the hardworking folks who continue to listen to our concerns and address them. Yes, I know this is only one area, but for me, in regards to replacing my old, large, clunky, loud PC with a small, elegant toe print of a pie, it was the last issue I needed to retire the old noisy beast. I found working on the Pi, using Gmail, Google Docs, even Google Meet was more than adequate. And did I mention the absolute bliss of having no annoying fan? So now what do I think? Well, I still think we could have seen some additional hardware or features, like perhaps a 3.5 millimeter audio jack or a slot for an M2 drive like the Argon case but we really can never get everything we want. And I do now question after these upgrades if my last review was really fair. Okay, okay, you all win. I can see to all the Pi fanboys and girls around the world. 
I am now officially rescinding my recommendation not to buy. If you are looking to use the Pi as a desktop replacement, I think you should use the Pi 400. It will carry you through the workday, and now when you want to Netflix and chill, you absolutely can. Okay, we're not editing on this yet, but give it to version two, LOL. Until next time, I'm Hill Phantom, reminding you always to send it, and you know what time it is. Let's go.